It's the, the Myers movement. It's a, it's a place um, that uh, some questions are, are being answered. Yeah, um, where a lot of lost souls gravitate towards in order yeah. to find um, answers to their problems. And it's a place of complete acceptance mm -hmm. and transparency. And um, they no care about- secrets. No secrets. Um, no secrets. <laughs> and uh, some secrets. Some, a few, yeah. a few here and there. And uh, it's 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 a really cool re religion movement cult. Um, we're kind of perceived within the community in the world as a cult, but we perceive ourselves as a movement, and um, and it explores all these different ideas about various religions and faiths, and uh, it's very very cool. I'm so um, we're drinking right. the Kool-Aid. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like when we're, we're when we're talking about something on set, even you know we've got like maybe a question or a little bit of an issue with like you know what, what we're doing in a scene, you know I will turn to Aaron and say, okay, I need to unburden. Okay, I need to unburden. <laughs> I need true. To, okay, and he's yeah. like, okay, let's do let's it. Like unburden. let's yeah. be completely transparent. Yeah. Do you know um, I don't like that color on you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being honest. honest. Exactly. Yeah. And then we move on. Then we move on. <laughs> I could never call it a cult. We are a movement. Um, I think it's, that's, that's relevant and that's, that's in a way the core of the show is that, that I can imagine a show in which we just tried to make a, a terrible, awful cult, but you know, the, the approach that we have is nobody thinks or knows that they're in a cult. They're, they're people are there with sincerity and you know, passion for kind of spiritual seeking. Our founding um, myth or legend or story, I guess, is that uh, Dr. Stephen Meyer um, in Cusco in Peru in 1974 was uh, ascended um, one of the, the mountains there um, and, uh, and, you know, having been kind of searching for some kind of spiritual truth, um, uh, saw a great burning ladder which he was able to ascend and then received a kind of vision, a vision of environmental calamity and disaster, essentially the end of the world, um, and then received a second vision of a, of a beautiful garden. Um, and so what he's been preaching since then is that um, by, by ascending the rungs of the movement, as he's referred to, which are his, his writings, and subsequently by studying his writings and ascending, you can prepare yourself to be spared from this, this inevitable apocalyptic disaster. The most mainstream religions also believe in some form of, of, of doomsday. Um, so it's not just a doomsday cult, but we do absolutely believe that they're going to be the, the chosen and, 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 and people who don't accept this truth won't survive into the garden, as we refer to it, or the afterlife, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and we have a very complicated relationship with the outside world, like I think all these movements do. It's, it's, we're pretty wary of it. The, the, the boundaries are up, you know, but at the same time, we, of course, we want more people to join us for, for sincere reasons, like, you know, we, you can be saved. For the latest stories, be sure to visit E! Online and download the E! Online app. I actually had a question about the packages. Speaking of packages, yes. Yes. you're still cute. You're still cute. It's a lot of makeup. Yeah. Is Taylor Swift giving away her awards to her squad? This is so true.